guys, I am Dr. Carrie. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me this week on Vet Ranch Roundup. Um, I have everything kind of tilted because these two celebs are Kiki and Squeaky. I'm assuming that you know that. If you don't, you should check out a couple playlists because that means you are not caught up. And sometimes it's a little bit easier to jump into Roundup if you're at least a few episodes back so you can kind of get acquainted with all of our patients and everything that we have going on in the hospital right now. So check that out. We are gonna jump right into this week. We need to um, now that we have Gordon more stabilized through the weekend, we need to go ahead and anesthetize him, get some more, um, definitely a more in-depth x-ray study so we can see what all is broken and where. We know it's bad. We need to know if it's bad, 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 or bad. That <sighs> sounds really stupid. Anyway, let's get this week started. Go check on Gordon and see what else we have to do. Come on, say bye bye, Squeaky. I know, say bye bye. Squeaky does not like to be held. Just okay, okay. Bye. I was just taking a video of how cute you are, buddy. You were asleep up against that. It was too cute. Love you. What are you doing with him? Loving him. I know. You need to take him home too. I know, I'll turn him with for this. I have such a good time. Yeah, I'm sure your cat's like, I don't want any part of you. I'm not <laughs> playing with you. Oh, oh buddy. Yeah, it definitely doesn't. Unfortunately, he's still on cage rest, so. Oh, Why are you so cute? Here, that's a heart failure. Just started popping. Having a hard time breathing. <laughs> he's checking you out. You bought all the smells. Radiographs look awesome. Everything's still in place, just like it should be. Possibly starting to callus in. I believe it's been three weeks since surgery. Um, this looks great, nice and smooth. That little head is gone to that femur. Here's another view, which you can kind of start to see this. This is some callus starting to form here. So it's starting to fill in and bridge that gap. So amazing healing so far. This cat is like, no big deal. Guys, we have a new patient. New patient alert. Come on. Come in, come in, come in. Oh. She doesn't like that. So her name um, is Sophia, and she is a dog that desperately needed us. She was living in a home with a lot of cigarette smoke. That obviously is not ideal. She probably has asthma or some other sort of respiratory disease unless she's smoking several packs a day, and we didn't know that. Her best smoke several packs a day. Hers was several packs a day. But she also has terrible teeth. Um, so it's time to just roll out the red carpet because this girl deserves it. She's probably never had anybody to really do that for her. So we're going to try to figure out what's going on, see if she has heartworms, and try to make her more comfortable, most important. Oh, baby. <laughs> She's had this spot for over a year. Over a year she's been like this, living like this. I know. Okay. Cute little face. Here are Sophia's radiographs. One thing that's interesting is that she has a ton of gas in her stomach and then all in her intestines because this because this poor girl is just gasping all the time gasping for air swallowing air and it's just constantly filling her gi tract as well um, this is her thoracic cavity the darker areas are lung fields and they look pretty freaking good i was expecting a hot mess in there i mean there's probably some bronchial inter digital pattern, but that could be lower airway disease because of living in a household, heavy, 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 heavy secondhand smoke. Um, this heart may be slightly right-sided enlargement, but pretty, pretty good. I'm pretty surprised by these radiographs. For the lateral, we probably should have pulled the legs forward more to see that cranial field a little better. But still, again, maybe slightly enlarged heart, a little bit of bronchial interstitial pattern, might be lower airway disease, but 
I may be able to chalk that up still to the secondhand smoke, which would be amazing. But if we can get her on some stuff now to kind of soothe those lungs and that trachea, I mean, we might be able to get on the other side of this, I hope. If not, we may go for referral. Um, we'll just see how she does. But can't wait to give this girl a bath. resting comfortably after her bath. That is the problem with Sophia. It's like she's either quiet, not coughing, or gasping for air. So we don't want to get her too wound up. Sophia's lab work looks amazing. And we were gonna check, we were worried about this um, high neutrophils, so white count showing evidence of inflammation or infection, but her teeth are really, really bad, like just rotting out. And she is heartworm negative, so that is the best news, because I'm sure she's never been on prevention in her life, um, which could have been a reason for her coughing too, so we ruled that out. Eugene, he's like a roly-poly now. Well, come look at him. First of all, his head's like a tangerine shape. Now his belly is also oh a tangerine shape. <laughs> Why is that, Lena? Look at his little arms resting on his old man belly. <laughs> Eugene. Oh, yeah. Living life being the only kitten. I got a milk coma going on. You are beyond, my love. Hey. Anna, you sound like a French bulldog. Who was that? It's Anna. <laughs> Is that your French bulldog sound? Yeah. That's pretty good. This is Dr. Judd's grandmother's dog. Oh, I'm sorry, I scared you. I was just trying to show everybody your little cute little face. Oh, Anna. What are those? They're not legs. They're not legs. Cute. Boom! Look at these guys trying to act grown. We need to check on our. Oh, am I bothering? Oh my god! Yes. Oh, he's so cute. Come on! <laughs> Come on! He makes my heart happy. He's so fat. Do you walk? I'm a walkie. He's definitely a munchkin. Duh! You eat too much. Stop. Oh, she doesn't like you doing that. Why is she making these weird little chirpy sounds? Is that your baby? She said you're, he's not supposed to be out of the box. Yeah, put him back in the box. I am the source of the problem. How can I show it? Move that light around closer. Oh yeah, baby. Oh goodness. That's not good. Oh, that's a good one there. Oh goodness. Well, that's your baby has ringworm. Which means you have ringworm and you're in our eyes. Which means so I probably have ringworm. Well, what are you going to do with that? It's topical, right? What else can you do? It's it's topical. Like, what are you? A caterpillar kitty. I'm a caterpillar. She just needs, oh my gosh, for Halloween, she just needs like, like two more sets of little stumpy arms coming <laughs> out. Oh, she can get in the little things with the pups. Look at it. Drive. So the caterpillar. Don't act like you're going to swap me. You can't even reach me, T-Rex. <laughs> so upset that it's not about him. Yeah, Mr. Cat would rather be vaccinated as long as he's getting attention than Aww. getting no attention and not being vaccinated. Then you did it! I like how she chats when you pick up her baby. Eugene, hi! Hey. Look at him. Eugene, hi! Is this your baby? It is! It's so cute! Very nice, 
Y'all just woke up, Phyllis. Babies. That's a cute babies. You're a good mommy. <gasps> Sit. Sit, good boy. Go get it. Good boy, Tito. Good boy. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. You're crazy. Right now, why is he so gross? Because he wants a, a grooming appointment. Because he has a beard. Yeah, why are you like? Why are you doing like that? He's cute. You know, I guess we can do your own wedding for you. Hi, Chino. What's the treat with me for the most favorite dog? Thanks for stinking me with your beard. Yeah. Uh oh, that was on camera. I don't care. Ew, they should do it for a lot. Who wants to? You want it lit? I'll take it. She can wait Perfect. a little bit. Well, well, well. I came in this morning and they have a catheter in our friend. I have no idea how that went, but maybe well. Stop. <laughs> it went good? Yeah. He reminds me of a Snuffleupagus from. Sesame Street. Yeah, slightly quicker moving though. Getting neutered today, friend. Thought we'd go ahead and knock that out even though we just did his vaccines. We're gonna go ahead and neuter him and that way that can start healing and then we can get him into grooming. He's a good boy. Tito's a good boy. He's a happy dog. <laughs> Guys, I want you to know that Shelby was super mean to me and was like making a huge deal about me coming in and trimming him up at all. I just trimmed his face a tiny bit around his eyes so I can see those beautiful eyes. And can you guys comment and just, you know, talk about what a great job I did. Thanks. <laughs> Although she doesn't look like she thinks I did a great job. Phyllis. You are unimpressed with me. <laughs> and there's the caterpillar. I know. Caterpillar? Kick, 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 kick. Caterpillar? We are checking Durango. The girls said they went to give him a bath, or they noticed before that he had some discharge in his eye and then he had a piece of grass, which is not surprising. I think there's a little ulcer in that top corner. So I am going to first um, deaden the eye. So basically put a topical anesthetic on there where he can't feel it anymore and that'll make it go off. Oh, buddy. Oh, wiggle butt. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's gonna be so hard. Mm. Trying to show everybody, but one, I can't even turn this on. Here's your eyeballs. There's some clouding in the corner. It's not really taking up stain. So maybe just really irritating. Yeah, he, they said he, they took a piece of grass out of his eye. See that? He's happy about it though. Oh, it's yeah, not. See it's cloudy. Oh, there's an ulcer. Wait till he looks up. Did you see that? See yep. it? Right down there. there. 
Mm, yep. Buddy, owie. Buddy. So we're gonna need a cone, pain control, antibiotic, topical antibiotics. Says I want to go to somebody's home. Ready? Oh gosh. This is how good I am at this. I can take a video and put an eye drop in. <laughs> Look at you go. It's a good boy. The grass is out, so hopefully we started the healing process. And he has an adoption event this weekend. Boo! Yay. Why does that happen? You look good. Oh, don't. No, I don't even care. Whatever. Where's that treat machine again? <laughs> it's out. Hey. He's like, hey. I don't know if you've seen these, but they're real stylish. If I was a dog, I'd be dumb. I'd be freaking out. If someone just put that on me and I was a dog. Ooh, probably gonna break her leg right now. She's a boo. Come here, Salt. Here, cat. What's wrong with your cat? She's a little bit. Little cat. Oh, they like that bird cage. Little bird cage. I mean, you look like you're having a great time. But... <laughs> no joke. <laughs> oh, she's like, let me hold on. Oh, it's mine. Oh, he's doing really good, actually. Looks like he's lost a little bit of weight. Well, he's doing okay on his super sedation meds. I definitely think he's jumping less, but we have to strong arm walk him still because he likes to jump. No, don't even look at me. Don't look at me. Maybe you just have the magic, Val. He's doing great. Yeah, Ryan, just toss her on up there. No, sir. He's like, I'm tired of not being a puppy anymore. Nobody needs to hear anything from you. What? Okay, here we go. I think this is hand. It may be crunch. I'm not sure. <laughs> two pounds, twelve, 12 ounces. ounces. <laughs> so two Same. No, oh, you're more. Two fourteen. 14. Hey. <laughs> hey, it's okay. I'm not working on you. Oh, I'm sorry. Her the whole time. Sorry, guys. Okay, why do I say okay first time? Look at these guys. Oh, I spayed these two young ladies about, let me see, two, three, three and a half hours ago. They're doing great. They were actually resting comfortably. So I came in here and tried to film and I kind of woke them up and they're like, hey, let's get out of here. Don't, don't do it. Anyhow, doing really, really well post-op. Just resting comfortably as we as we want. So, okay, go back to sleep. We're ready to go be with our buddies. for me that the luxating patella so the kneecap sliding to the inside of his knee that's what a luxating patella is 
it's not a slam dunk for me that that was all that was going on just because he walks strange too but looking at his x-rays they look really good i mean he looks like he's got really nice hips here so you can see these um, femoral heads sitting in the sockets really nicely being cupped and everything else looking pretty good but on that right side he did look like potentially it, something had happened with his I'm sorry, I'm probably making you guys sick clicking through. Maybe potentially something had happened with his tibial crest. If it did, if it had a slight avulsion that healed weird, it, that's where that ligament attaches to. So it stands to reason that that ligament may um, be tracking pretty much like not straight and popping towards the inside of the leg. But we'll have Dr. Reed check it out and he may need surgery for that. the bennies of being my friend. His name is Tuco. Are you a baby boy? Tuco, sweetums. You started talking quite a bit. Did you start talking? And singing? Can't wait till you say your name. Oh, you still got a little bit of grump in there. That's okay. Okay, he said that's enough footage. We're done. I still get a little nervous when he's by my ear because that's the ear he wanted to eat. Oh gosh. But I can tell he's just being sweet. Yeah, it's okay. I'm talking to myself, not him. It's okay. Okay, Tuco, that's good. Tuco. Also teaching this guy to eat his chop. He was on an all-seed diet before. I know. So birds actually need lots and lots of things in their diet. This is a little chop mixture. Um, you can kind of see what's going on there. Tons of stuff. Pumpkin seeds, squashes little bit of strawberry and apple, fresh corn, broccoli, a little bit of chopped up spinach and kale, peas, various nuts, quinoa, and I don't even know what else. Is it good? Are you making a mess? I also forgot to mention a couple weeks ago that they said, you know, we'll send all of Tuco's things with him. His name wasn't Tuco, his name was Baby, which I can't handle. So they said that he did not have a cage. Like he hung out, guys, on this perch all the time. And this perch is plastic and really big for his feet. This is like a perch for maybe a full-size macaw just to spend a little bit of time out training and hanging out. So I was really shocked by that. Apparently he never left it. His wings are trimmed. So we're letting those grow out and practicing a little bit of... Uh, well, that was literally perfectly on cue for him to just take off. But we're practicing flying. I don't like trimming wings, so we, oh, pretty, are going to work on harness training. Um, right now, he can fly a little bit and kind of sort of the ground, so he's not a flight risk for taking off or anything like that or flying out a door. Also, he came with this little happy hut, which I'm not a fan of those because they have little strings that they can hurt themselves on. However, that is like his baby. That's his lovey. So I'm not gonna take that away from him right now. We may try to transition later on. But as you can see, he has a cage now, not just living on a stand with too big of diameter. And I put vet wrap on here, which is his own toy because he loves to pick at vet wrap. And then he's got a cage with toys and then a little area to explore and climb. So I hope he's living his best life. We're still working on getting to know each other. Yeah, bud. So we noticed yesterday he was breathing bad or shallowly, rapidly, seemed more painful. Took some x-rays, which I'll show you. 
buddy. Look at all my notes. It just feels bad. Oh no. Why? I don't know. He's got a lot of swelling. Did he pee? We need to look at his treatment sheet to know about this morning, I guess, because none of us had him. Let's get some blood work on him. Well, his blood work shows that he is pretty anemic, um, which is a little surprising. I wasn't expecting that. Um, and that his liver values are elevated. My guess is his liver probably just took a crushing injury. Um, but we're gonna put an IV catheter in now. Gordon, they are terrible. This is his thoracic cavity. Most of this should be black, um, indicating air moving throughout the lungs, but it's not. It looks to me, let me go to the other lateral chest, like we have a liver lobe living in the thoracic cavity. And that would explain why he is breathing so shallowly because he has a reduced lung space. So you can see his heart here. And then most likely he has a tear in the diaphragm from um, the abdominal pressure being run over. And then this liver, part of it is living right up here. So that's bad, that is terrible. It is fixable, but it's very dicey. Let me show you this one here. Here's the leg that you could see on lateral last, last time before we took the additional radiographs, this is kind of what it looked like. You can see better here that there definitely is a fracture um, of this femoral head, but this is the one we saw before. Here's the tibial crest avulsion. So one, two, three. One, two is here, three is here. I can't tell if there's any fractures or displacement there because we're pretty rotated just because of the way um, his break is. Oh, we shouldn't have that over that. That's not good. Regardless, from this area, we can see that this leg actually has, it's really not savable. So we'd have to remove that, um, plate that, cross pin that, um, but he'd have a really hard time ever developing muscle mass again without this nice connection um, to get this to heal. So this leg is a mess. Here is the big worry right now is this swelling that he has going on in this area, in his inguinal area. Actually sent off for a radiology consult as well. And they had the same worry as I did about a urethral. See all this is all swelling and subcutaneous irritation there. So they in like almost like air pockets under the skin. They said they're also worried about a ruptured urethra or bladder. He has been urinating in the cage, but um, we're going to try to pass a urinary catheter right now to see if we can get past his urethra into the bladder or figure out what is going on there because all of these things, each one of these things, if you had them separate, would be a life, life-threatening injury, um, but we have all three. So we have a lot of really hard decisions to make right now, and I really wish that there was someone else that had to make that decision. So. There's not. It's me. Oh, no wonder you had a fever. Yeah. Oh. Let's get him some snacks. Did they snacks? Get him snacks? Maybe. Let's try some canned snacks. Want some snackies? Want a burger? Mm -hmm. Can we go get you lunch? I'm making some pizza rolls. Oh, popcorn yeah. Chicken. Popcorn chicken. He wants popcorn chicken. Bobby. Seems like his stomach contents have shifted at least some of them into his chest cavity, meaning he probably has a hernia. We sedated him to do that so we were able to get the rest of his, um, the other views of his leg in. His hip is also fractured right at the socket, which is not a big deal. We could always amputate, but also his bladder looks like it's ruptured and leaking and not holding any urine. Um, so we went ahead and passed a catheter and then today, this is brand new and he has a fever. So this guy is just, he has about four life-threatening things and having them all at the same time is just not fair. We tried to give you a chance, big boy. 
but we're gonna give him some delicious stuff. Shelby's also making him some popcorn chicken. Fried food makes me feel better, Gordy. Here, Gordy. So yeah. This week took such a turn for the worst. Um, it's such a testament though to rescue and how things go. I mean, you, I think I was riding high off Bowie, like, yeah, another femur fracture. We got this, just truck in. And it's not that simple. You know, a lot of times it's not. And that really is tough because you just go back and forth. Like, well, should I just have euthanized at the beginning? But no, I mean, I should have given him a chance and made sure that it was something not fixable. At least he knew that I believe strongly he knew he was loved um, and spoiled for a couple of days. Thank you guys so much. If you donate, if you watch our videos, consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Um, I learned that a couple people at work are not subscribers. What? Like, I don't know how to subscribe. Well, ask me, I'll show you. Um, and April is, this is funny that April is a patron on Patreon and it's cause she doesn't want to wait till Saturday to watch the episode. She wants to watch it before then when it comes out early. Um, I'll put the link for Patreon here, but come on, that has got to crack you up that April pays to be a patron, which thank you, April. We appreciate your support. We love all our patrons so much but she pays to see behind the scenes footage. When she is, she is the scenes. She's, she's the behind the scenes. I don't, it's cute. Thank you for support April and all patrons. Guys, I'll see you next week. And I feel strongly that we're just gonna get back up and keep going and keep trying to save animals. So, bye. Bye, kitty kitties. Wanna say bye? They're coming over to say bye to you. Wanna say bye? There you go, that's bye. Wanna say bye? <laughs> bye guys, we'll see you next week.